We invite you to watch in the Chinese news of the Central Television Channel of the Nile Province. Ladies and gentlemen, President of Philippines, Ferdinand Ramondes Makot Gr and his wife arrived in Hanoi on January 29th, started a state visit to Vietnam. The visit of President Ferdinand Ramondes Makot Gr formed a solid strategic partnership between Vietnam and the Philippines, contributing to strengthen political trust creating momentum to promote cooperation between the two countries, contributing to strengthening solidarity and the central role of ASEAN. Relations between Vietnam and the Philippines have developed well in many fields. Political cooperation has been enhanced with many visits, high-level meetings and contacts. Economic cooperation between the two countries has developed positively, with the Philippines being Vietnam's sixth largest trading partner in ASEAN and 16 in the world. The Philippines continues to be the largest rice export market of Vietnam. The two countries continue to maintain and coordinate closely at regional and international forums such as ASEAN, the United Nations, APEX, and etc. Within the framework of the visit, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos will attend the official welcome ceremony and hold talks with President Phó Văn Thuong, met with key leaders of Vietnam and some other activities. Many international organizations and media agencies have forecast growth for Vietnam this year at 6%, a high level in the region. Vietnam will likely become the fastest growing economy in the South Asia in 2024 and 2025. In the first three weeks of January 2024, the total newly registered capital adjustment and capital contribution share purchases, capital contribution from foreign investors reached more than $2.36 billion, an increase of more than 40% compared to the same period last year. Foreign investors have invested in 15 out of 21 economic sectors. In particular, the real estate business industry leads with a total of investment capital of more than $1.27 billion, US dollar, double over the same period. Next to the processing and manufacturing industry, then the professional activity, science and technology, and wholesale and retail industries. Attracting foreign investment continues to be a great driving force for our country's economy. In the context of a global economy facing many challenges, Vietnam's economy still received positive assessment of its prospect in 2024. The Ministry of Finance recently issued official letter number 405 urging ministry sectors and localities to accelerate disbursement of public investment capital in 2024. Seriously and strategically implement solutions to promote disbursement of public investment capital in accordance with the government regulations. Specifically, ministry sectors and localities carry out detailed allocations in accordance with the provisions of the law on state purchase and the law on public investment. Among them, carefully reviewing and allocating capital centrally, not spreading in the right order of priority and right subjects for tasks and projects that have sufficient investment procedures and are capable of disbursement. Focus on allocating sufficient capital plans in 2024 for important national projects and etc. Avoiding spread allocation. Do not allocate funds to projects that cannot be disbursed. Ho Chi Minh City Department of Transport said that during 2024 Lunar New Year, Ho Chi Minh City will ensure enough vehicles to serve the travelers of passengers. When needed, contract vehicles can also be mobilized to tonic supply. Road Transport Management from Ho Chi Minh City Department of Transport said that by January 27th, only the old Minh Dong bus station in Binh Thanh District has sold more than 80% of the tickets. The rest were other bus stations, which only sold less than 50% of tickets at planned. Therefore, bus stations still have many tickets to serve passengers traveling during the 
some roads from her human city to central regions such as Fu Ying, Kanhua, and Centora during the period from lunar December 23rd to 29th of February 2nd to February 9th, 2024, are lacking sleeper bus tickets. The reason is that there are fewer sleeper buses, so they cannot rotate in time, while there are still plenty of seat tickets for these roads. Up to today, 32 out of 52 units have proposed to increase ticket prices for upcoming Lunar New Year of Dragon. In particular, the road to Tainan and the Western Road increased by more than 4%, while roads to central region and beyond increased by about 60%. On February 29th, Ho Chi Minh City delegation visited and gave gifts to poor households for the Lunar New Year of Dragon 2024. During that 2024, Dong Nai mobilized more than 90 billion dong, giving gifts to more than 149,000 poor, new poor households, policy families, social protection beneficiaries, and workers in difficult circumstances, donating more than 460 train and plane tickets to help workers in difficult circumstances return home to celebrate that. These activities have contributed to sharing some of the difficulties, providing more motivation for poor households, workers, and laborers in difficult circumstances to celebrate a warm, full, and happy day. On this occasion, Secretary of Ho Chi Minh City Party Committee Nguyễn Phan Nguyen, Secretary of the Nguyen Provincial Party Committee Nguyen Hong Lin, and leaders of Ho Chi Minh City and the Nguyen Province presented forward gifts with a total value of nearly Far million dong to poor households. Mr. Nguyễn Văn Tính, Tam Hiệp Quốc, Biên Hòa City, Đồng Nai said, I'm 80 years old this year. My 75 years old wife can't do anything. Thanks to the charity events, today I'm very excited to receive gifts. Ms. Trần Thị Tố Nguyên, worker of Po Chiang Limited Company, Biên Hòa City, Đồng Nai Province, said, I just had surgery one month ago and had two small children I'm glad that the party, the state, the community care about the workers. Gifts in today's lead up to that demonstrate the spirit of sharing sympathy and timely help people and workers in difficulty have more confidence, excitement, and condition to prepare for that and welcome a happy spring.